Welcome everybody to the IVRL Week 4 Summer Showdown. I'm your host Trip, and I'm joined by my favorite Kiwi, the only Kiwi that I know, James Boak. How are you doing today, good sir? I am winning by default as per usual. I oh. am doing excellently. What are you going to do when we get another Kiwi on the... There on are, the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, there are other Kiwis in the wings. And uh, it, I'm worried. Um, let's, let's be honest. I am uh, a little bit concerned. But none of them have a jetpack. Suddenly people will be like, you're my second favorite Kiwi. Uh, I don't know. Those which, people... is, which is last, really. <laughs> okay, first or last, Ricky Bobby. So we have Raptors versus Rome tonight, which should be a banger of a match. I'm super excited for this. Uh, super excited to watch it, to commentate, to hang out with my buddy James, and to see Quarantine and Dry Run, the two maps for this week's lineup. Quarantine hasn't gone through a lot of changes since the 1.8 update. Um, they did rearrange it during 1.8, but since then, minimal. There's been a there's been a few key ones uh, since you've seen it played in a league type setting. Um, in that there's a better balance between quest and pcvr that's the biggest one i believe right, right so right. got some good changings around center burning you've got all those all of those walls with slats in them you can no longer peek through them on uh, quest so it's it's more it's more balanced um hopefully see some really good firefights on it lighting and i think also a little bit of dust now exists on um quest so really looking forward to seeing this one definitely yeah me as well uh, also, for the folks at home, if there are issues, let us know. I am trying out a new mic, so if I sound stupid, I'll just stop talking and let James's lovely voice carry us through the night. Uh, but let us know in chat for sure. We're going to start on the north objective, so let's just uh, let's get the little scoreboard here set up for map number one. And let's let's hop into it. Let's just let's do a little a breeze around the map, shall we? Get into the gameplay here. North objective. The northest. Oh, I quite I like this objective. I think there's some good lines onto it. You have to be when you're on defense, you have to be aware because if you're not, they can get onto objective and cap on you. Um, on attack, there's some varied options. Like if you try and get control of this um, top of the wing roof, that can be quite powerful. Overlooking, getting control of the northeast corner. Yeah, there's some short crosses to make there, but if you do get control of the north side of the objective. Um, you can put pressure on from both sides. Uh, oh, yeah, I like this objective. You see some defensive um, flanks, d normally down the west side, but also out east. Uh, good variety. Good variety. Yeah. And the, I mean, the common approach here on the north is to encircle it. And you want to just force the defenders back towards the objective with the half circle, getting someone in that northwest, someone at white car, or potentially someone coming up the roof on either side, someone over by mm -hmm. money trucks, and just forcing them because there's not a lot of coverage on the objective you, you can only hide from so many angles so being able to push them back into that spot and then pick them off as they go or maybe even try and go for a cap distract them on one side you know play heavy four heavy on one side and have someone sneak up for the back uh because you can't cap from behind the wall at the objective as we saw eventually yesterday in oh your boy. match oh boy edna does not know numbers uh, she knows numbers better than Landon. Landon was being fed fake numbers. He came back into the tent and was like, I could not. No, no, no. This guy was just he, reading me numbers. <laughs> he, he was reading numbers after Landon had already been trying for about 10 seconds. Though, well, Landon is also completely stupid. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, I was on the roof down calling out to cap for Wait, it. Did he shoot you? He's the one who shot you? No, no, no. I got down from a, a guy at Red Barrels, uh, the last guy alive got me so i was like just cap it i can see the guy running for you and i'm just like standing there watching and i'm just like are you are, are you are you capping and then i see edna sneaking up from the outside and i'm like are you gonna go get it like somebody cap <laughs> i think he shot someone in the back at the white car oh, he shot, the he north, shot okay. that was also oh, okay, a, okay. Uh, a very entertaining um edna called out someone there and he didn't even think twice he just looked up and shot him and then he was like oh that was that was pound cake Oh, it looks Sometimes like we've had a couple can... of drops on the Rome side. Gladiator plus one have dropped out. Hopefully they'll be coming back in. Just oh, they're back in now. So look at that. That's a good thing. Just like that. Um, so what's your preferred approach to this objective there, Trip? You talked about encirclement. What's your personal preferred approach? 
I personally prefer to get on the south hospital and shoot people from a distance. Uh, especially you can see that that northwestern barrel red scaffolding thing. You can hit that all the way mm -hmm. from the south roof. Uh, two no, times? Four times? Or just straight with Red forward? dot all the way. I'll bring it two uh, times just for that just for that shot. You can hit where those do you guys. Move from the, where do you move from there then? Up the west side. Uh, up the west side, okay. Yeah, yeah, towards impact, and then I decide whether I feel like roof is clear, if I want to sneak up, depending on where the rest of my team is as well, right? You, If, if you've got teammates already on the west, you're going to take this approach right up the roof side, and that defensive corner on the back there, you know, you're going to get up to there. You're going to peek overhead, see if you see anyone scrambling around at the objective. Make sure the roof's clear. And then you're going to let your guys in the west do some damage while you just kind of go directly for this objective. Uh, mm. you, you know, right up to the semi. Uh, this, and it really depends. It depends on how many people you have alive. If you're last man standing, I don't know if that would be my preferred approach. But if I've got two or three people, there's, there's definitely going to be a good spread unless we feel like oh well there's they're they're very heavy on one side or the other if we know who we're playing up against we you know we've seen them defend multiple times it, it's a very hard objective to rotate from one side to the other on defense so knowing where you've got the kills as you're saying mm -hmm. really will influence your attack um because you're not going to rotate across the open from one side to the other on this objective on defense um well, you shouldn't you say that <laughs> yeah yeah um I have a similar approach. Uh, I like to start on the hospital roof as well, um, or, ho or hospital, and uh, clear those areas. I use it two times because I can't see that well with the holographic. Um, apparently, you have a excellent eyesight. Um, and But I tend to go up through the middle more, through center burning sort of region, and then hit the roof. My goal is to hit that south side of, uh, of the north roof. And then I work the east side, though, not the west side. Come up the east side. Whoa. Um, I come up the east side of the roof and then I work my way from uh, container tank and then try and get onto objective and speaking of objective we have people spawning in here we go south spawn four raptors let's see they're making calls still on their movements I'm gonna see a couple take the hospital roof let's kick on the lasers and let's see what we can see Rome pushing a very strong western defense here if you look at the overhead Four, e four west, one finally moving east, but it looked like all five were just going that way. Looked like Masu might have been spotted out by whoever's at the ambulance Messina there. There was a laser death, which yep. brushed, o brushed over him. So um, his position may be known. Uh, they will assume that he's dropped down to these barrels if he has dropped off that top. Um, so it should be an easy pick for Raptors if they remember to deal with that. And Interesting like... defense. Yeah, I, like I, I, I don't know though. I mean, it... Mm. I feel like Blitz's line is too late. If, if Blitz gets taken out, the, the you're on to Gladiator, so there's no warning of adjustment. Yeah, Blitz um, Blitz is definitely a linchpin here. Gladiator is relying on him to watch his backside, and any quick swing through that, uh, around that door, could definitely get both of them. They're sending Havoc quite far out in the east. Um, Let me just see where he rotates to here. Hopefully he won't get picked up by a friendly. And, oh yes, this little tuck-in uh, tuck spot behind this dumpster here oh, um, for Havoc is a relatively common one. Um, but if you don't account for it as you make your way in, uh, you will have some troubles. They've got good coverage on the objective, but I, what I wonder about is how this coverage will still work once they start getting picked off. Hmm. Um, yeah, the rotations, they're very heavy on the um, west side. I had to just check my directions there. They're very heavy on the west side, and there are approaches which, with a little bit of smoke, will force them to rotate. And fortunately for Rome at the moment, Raptors are pushing the west side as well, so it could become more of a close quarters battle. Um, but actually, that's, Rome's def defense may not be ready for that close sort of in, that close uh, attack. They haven't stopped Rypik from getting up on the wing, which is an incredibly powerful position for taking out both Varix and then yeah. Masu, potentially. Those um, red ramps, I believe they're still penetrable. Are they? Okay. They were previously. Um, have not checked them in recent update. Uh, however, it used to be just, you know, spray them. And Varix is visible to the roof. So if Rypik... 
crags going out onto the roof. They are very concerned about the roof, and I mean, everyone should be, right? The roof is a very common position. Mm. Uh, as a Rypik is actually watching that way while he's making his approach up to this rooftop. And now they're going to put two up there, which is a big risk because it takes so long to get down from there. Um, two Overwatch positions doesn't necessarily seem like a, uh, a necessary strat. Two minutes, 50 seconds left on the clock. They are working their different angles, though. Um... So Rypik swung wide, and now he's inching his way forward so that he's not exposing himself to new angles at the same time. And he'll see probably... FG, it is penetrable. Masu wow. goes down through the red. Now they know that is they're that, on the roof. That was some very directed spray. I, I assume that was just based upon a potential position rather than necessarily seeing anything. I feel like he saw something move because he snapped. Felt like he saw something too, yeah. Fair, puts a flash out. Trigger Striker, not blind. Calls him out. Vax is now tucked into a much better spot uh, in terms of not getting picked by. Ooh, right I don't know if he's. I mean, he's he's definitely hidden, but is he hidden enough? Any slight movement there might get him caught out. Havoc is the linchpin now for the death and Messino push. The they don't have enough height to see the cap. If death and Messino take out Havoc, they can cap uh, behind this little mound with a crawl yep without being seen tiger gets blinded but runs away varix chasing him tiger's not turning around tiger's still trying to make the run varix gets the kill uh, let's see if replays are working today that they are we have a minute left they're gonna push and go they haven't dealt with the far race this could be a big mistake by messino and death here Varric's making Unless his call out. check it as they go across. Soldiers hearing Ooh, him Havoc the call. Havoc is rotating back. Yeah, the rotation, the, the minute the push prick. rotation. Havoc's now push. looking for it. Oh, he doesn't see Def. Def's not looking that way at all. Def's going to get picked off. Havoc's not seeing it. There it is. Havoc takes down Def on the backside. Now Rypik knows he's there. Messino also looking that way. Varric's is position known. Pinned down from one. FG's pushing up on him. While he's looking the other way, FG gets him. Nice teamwork there. Now Gladiator's over in the corner. Smart rotation by Havoc. Ooh, but he goes right down anyways. Big pick. Gladiator gets right pick on the refrag. He's down. He's going to make those callouts. FG's now checking this corner. He's pushing. He's looking. He's you know, pushing. He misses. The there he goes down. Now Blitz coming out. Last man standing. On. Gets down Messino. Now FG's just going to pie that corner and take the shots in the trade. Whoa. And Raptors win by the skin of their teeth with one just down. They had an opportunity to cap there. They should have had a pretty good kill count, I feel. Uh, yeah, they should have had. Unless they didn't know that they killed Masu through that through the red um, ramp, they would have had a good kill count and um, should have been able to go prone. Messino should have been going prone there. Um, but yeah, ultimately they got the single point. That's a win. Um, got lucky on a last man trade. And yeah. Any key points you want to take away from that round? Uh, I feel like the two on the roof was unnecessary. Uh, mm -hmm. It didn't seem to have any effect. Although the second man was the one that got the, the shots onto the red, uh, red scaffolding, but it just seems like a... a, a overcompensation for you could put that guy even just putting that guy underneath of impact and having him walk up slowly towards white car seems it, like they a were definitely uh, responsible for different sectors though you could see the way they pushed it they, they had were one but responsible I feel more like throughout it's... east one responsible for the red sort of uh red scaffold direction i feel like you could get that same coverage though from one on the ground and one up above I don't know. Uh, yeah. And maybe yeah. it's just this particular they, they, defense they, 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 that it they, they, didn't they, work for, yeah, yeah. right? Normally you do get some picks across objective from up there. It's such a powerful spot. And that's where Rome's defense was. It was quite well hidden from that, even though they did lose one from the roof. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I quite like that roof. That high roof. Um, 
personally. You just like getting someone's high. someone's saying that they would have uh, loved a Raymond co-cast. I see how it is, Jason. That's cool. Um, Look, we we didn't tell him he couldn't. I just also wanted James. We could have had a three-way. Ooh, Ooh the, the North spawn, quite a different spawn. A uh, very different spawn. Yeah, Let's hop over right to the Rome and see what they're gonna do. I'll stay with the rat to see how they deal with it. It should be known. Are they leaving someone to watch it? They are not, but Rome are opting to not push that way. Interesting, they put tri Tiger Sight Striker has gone in exactly the same location as Masu was previously. Right Let's pick see if Rome can is deal with pushing it. up towards Money Trucks, Blitz, and Havoc both here. Neither really watching that direction. Oh, Blitz is seeing the feet. Blitz sees the feet. Right pick dodges. He dances. He dances. He comes around firing and he gets one. Excellent shooting. Now Havoc's going for the shots. Right pick goes down. Excellent refrag there from Havoc, getting that flanker. More shots. Def picks up Varus. He's in a very forward very position different, too on this different one. Different defenses set up here. So uh, Rome were gro grouped with um, groped with four on the west side within you know 40 meters of each other, uh, whereas Raptors are a big huge shape almost. Exception being east, soldiers a little the, bit more pushed uh, out. Messino um, putting shots down onto Havoc, calling out the cross, but Havoc, after the shots finished, rotated back towards the north, so that might confuse them. Uh, Messino probably thinks he continued that cross down to the south. Havoc did some great rotations previous round, too, on defense, um, just coming out second best against uh, Rypik, unfortunately for him. Um, but it's, it's something we've seen previous round, and it sounds like he's doing it again. Gladiator is on the south roof, just, just scanning, but he's not going to find anybody. The Raptors are a little smarter than that. Nobody peeking that high angle, get their head taken off. Is he running FAAD with uh, Hollow? Oh, let's he see. Also ha also has excellent eyesight. I don't I don't think that we have excellent eyesight. I think you just have poor eyesight, James. That's that's fine. Um, I um, I'd like to think a bit more positively about myself, but that's cool. Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta be real with yourself. Ooh, a two oh three from Masu. Ooh. And smoke. This is one thing you need to worry about foot with Rome. They are very good at capping. Um, they are, but their main capper with... is across the map. Uh, and Blitz is dead, is also good at capping. True. Um, not sure how good Masu and RJC are. Havoc X is RJC. Um, not sure how good they are at capping, but um, Gladiator is epic. He's a sneaky, sneaky capper, um, and you need to be wary of that at all times. Messina could be seeing the Sioux and Havoc. Ooh, Ooh. with Soldiers! Wow. Soldiers gets it. Messino looks away. Misses the cross onto Masu. Definitely could have got a, a nice double there. Uh, also, for those in chat, back to Andros and Andy Seaweb are my buddies from Barbados. Definitely make sure to give them a little bit of uh, onward education while we're in there. Oh, the stories they have. The stories you guys have. I'm sure there are at least two stories. Currently tuning in from the hammock at the golf course. Nice, nice. Masu, checking that route. Oh, where's that laser coming? Oh, that's FG soldiers. And if good. anyone does, does want to get jealous, there are some photos of uh, Barbados in the Discord, um, the IVRL Discord. Just wait till I start posting the ones uh, from the cat uh, the weekend that Pars was here. They're, they're very good. I've seen some. seen a couple. Um, no, no. Some there was a professional scr photographer, and most of the photos he took were of me. That's how I just, I just, I controlled oh, the boat. Beautiful. beautiful. It's, it's amazing. Uh, we're, so we're seeing four Raptors still up. We got Masu <laughs> just kind of so back to the slowly to the creeping cast. up. But he really needs to wait for Gladiator to also get up here. And Gladiator's taking a very, uh, very dangerous approach. He needs to go around the west side. And there's a shot. FG Soldier gets another. Masu is out. Now it's all up to Glad. Let's I feel like his along. position wasn't really supporting for quite a long time. We've got a minute 30 left. And he's only just now moving into an engagement position. Um, 
and trying to deal with soldiers head on is never soldiers generally above recommended him. practice. Oh, soldiers didn't hear those footsteps. Glad it... He did hear those footsteps. He's it out. Soldiers he's it is out. running away now. 60 seconds left. Gladiator's gonna see him. No, nope. no, he's not. Soldier takes him down from the rooftop. Let's see if I have my... just getting three that round. Full screen replay. Do these work? Ooh, yes, they do. Soldiers needs to share some of the love. He's gotten seven kills so far. I think that's just a little bit greedy. Just a little bit. He was in a great position, and he was he was playing the time. I mean, there were still 60 seconds left, but he was making that person chase after him. And that gives Raptors their second point. We're only two points in, James. Just two points. Uh-oh. Two whole points. I want to see if we get a cap. This could be the objective for it. Can you still cap from outside the fuselage? On this one. We're talking about it's a fuselage objective coming up next. I'm not sure why Trip has gone uh oh. I'm assuming that um, everything's okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Everything just slowed to a crawl, but we're back. We're good. So we've seen some epic caps on this objective. Uh, most notably, that I can remember, uh, a flash and then a drop down onto the actual uh, satellite dish itself and the cap. That was a quite a quite a good one. Um, you used to be able to cap from outside the objective here. Is that um, still a thing? I believe it is. Is it still a thing? Okay, okay, okay. Um, and then obviously, once you're in, it's a, it's a hard objective to defend. Very similar to defend in terms of uh, like that other outside one on this impact building. Um, quite hard to... <sighs> attacking sports, can you spawn hospital for this one? Uh... Or is it only for the other one? Might only be for the other one. I do not know. You know what would be nice is if the casters could see that spawn map that the uh, they implemented Ooh. in the new update, which is an awesome feature, by the way. Uh, Crater spawn. It's, it's made my job a little bit redundant. I used to just get asked where, where we can potentially spawn all the time. Um, yeah, they don't need you anymore, James. Now I just feel useless. They don't, um, they don't need you. Mm. Crater spawn, probably one of, I don't feel like it's a very common spawn. Um, there are some early sight lines uh, from Crater Spawn. You get up high, you, there's some little lines all the way through, pretty much two objective. Defensive wise, pretty standard spread. Three inside impact is quite a lot. Can you get quick north spawn for this objective? Mm. I feel like this defense is potentially yes. anticipating that. I know there is a quick north spawn. The way they've moved for this defense to get into position, I feel like they were they were preparing for the quick spawn in the north, uh, and then now they've set it up. It's a relatively common defense. We've seen uh, some good battles between Rypik and this green container before. Rypik himself likes to run this green container, um, often with support from VR Marksman, who is not present today, um, and Blitz himself in this position has support from Varrocks in the north. And then Havoc, central control, Masu, critical position here. Um, the push into the fuselage straight on from burning is probably one of the most common approaches, I feel. That's all the southwest. Masu in that dark, dark corner. Let's turn off the lasers and the names. Uh, which key is that? This one. You can see how dark it is in there. Yeah, good luck spotting that. You, just, you have to assume someone's in burning. It's, it's quite a common defensive spot. Um, you have to either clear it or get around it and try and deal with Gladiator. Or just go around both of them and go straight along the yes. south street and uh, yeah. straight through this gap and get onto objective. Right between them, to the white car, to the tail of the plane. Yeah. Obviously, we've got cast division, as we say every time we make these amazing squeaky lines through everything um but there is a gap it's whether gladiator or masu here's soldier and, tri and tiger striker because gladiator may be able to shoot them in the back if they're not ready for him oh it looks like they're going head on engagement coming Zoom in. Enhance! Oh! 
Oh, Gladiator gets the kill. Now FG is looking for the refrag. Glad's got a flash. It goes up and around the corner. No, that's a frag. Onto the roof. A little far. But a good throw. Definitely a backup position for that approach. Blitz gets another in the north. Right pick goes down. Masu gets another. FG goes down. And that leaves Death, who is at the at the semi. Right back in the north. And the Sino at the APC. Yes, it does. Now hey, is looking not an up. APC, is it? What are they? What are they called? What's that's, their official name? I'm gonna, someone in chat can tell me. That's a um, uh, the BR. BMP or yeah. BPPR yeah. or one of those ones. Masu getting his confirmation shots. Death still at the Sino. semi. They are where there are just two. Def's still reading the code. He's thinking about going for it. Messino a little far away. Is there a gap? There's Not always really. a gap. You just got to make it. Oh, he stayed low. He didn't see Varix. Varix didn't see him. He's getting close. Varix is going to hear him. Varix does a flash. But he got him before oh, the flash the went off. Timing on the flash. Wow. Now and there's a gap. Now he's dangerous. Jeffrey just can choose choose multiple directions to go. Masino potentially should go with Def here. Def should see Masu here. Yep, he's pulled out a little bit, I think. There it Shots goes, finally. Masino needs to move into a supporting position We're a bit more. Two, at least. Looks We're like he's most. starting to move now. And Gladiator needs to get back. There's nobody on objective. Gladiator needs to get back quick. This is the... I say this quite often. When you got two defenders up, it's the most common time to get capped on. Because you get one picked, and then the cap occurs before the rotation can happen. There's the pick on objective. Gladiator, last man standing, is going to make his run. And Messino just needs to be waiting for it. Ooh, he's moved off at timing here. Missed it again, Gladiator moving down. You should see, see this movement right here. Right there, right there. There it is. There it is, yep. And Raptors take their third point. Brought back by Def Redux and Messino, Messino there. It looked like Rome had the advantage. Um, they have 4v2. Uh, yeah. Yep. yep. They, they had so. Blitz, Blitz Varix. They had everyone but Havoc up, I think. Um, and yeah, just against Def Redux and Messino. Def Redux coming out with potentially three that round. Um, if not four, three. Messino then picking off the last two, I believe. The last one. Yeah, good effort. Um, the love has been shared a bit more now. FG Soldiers are starting to get caught up. On the Rome side, it's a lot more even on the spread. Splits uh, with the uh, on three kills. At top. Um, that was a mouthful. Little, 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 little. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see. We saw quite a different defensive setup from Raptors last time uh, compared to Rome. Um, you think you'll see a similar sort of spread out this time? That sort of U across the map. I feel like Raptors. Hmm, let's see. It's gonna be one second floor of impact, one northwest corner, one center burning, one Volk twins, old Volk twins, I don't know what we call it now, and one potentially at gas station. I think that's I think that's my call. Okay, okay. I think they're gonna put one on green container, one on the northwest corner of the roof, looking north. Um uh, then they'll need someone to protect him. So yeah, center burning potentially. Uh, and then yeah, one one gas station, and then there's one remaining who I can't call who, where it'd go. Maybe twi yeah, twins. So I've pretty is that's pretty much exactly what you said, is it? Not pretty really much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, north I yeah. said northwest corner, but yeah, the green container seems like the valid point. Uh Rome spawning in the yep. southeast this time. FG is gonna be that guy taking the gas station or the crater. Or is he gonna keep pushing? Is he gonna go up towards the hospital? If FG seems to go out into the more extended positions. He likes to hog uh, all the kills and get them early before anyone else gets a chance. He's looking um, through the cracks, trying to see anyone 
moving up into the hospital. Set camera four over there, FG. Let's take a look around the rest of the map. What do we got? We've got Def moved up also into the roof courtyard on the far Come east on, right side. Pick. Don't make me a liar. Go to the green container. Do it. Yes. Oh, there yes. it is. There it is. VR Marksman is not here, so... Hence... Whoa, no! What are you doing, Rypek? Oh, Rypek's moving. Oh, and he's about to run into trouble. Lots of trouble. Lots of trouble. Which one of these buttons is Rypek? There he is. Oh, he's... He, he, he made it. He went south just in time. But... Mm. I feel like his previous position was slightly better. He's now not watching the north when you got def Def Redux looking across. So he could more easily get shot from behind. I believe Blitz saw him. I feel like there's just that little twitch of the laser which made it look like he was spotted moving in, but there wasn't a shot put at him. Right pick gets one. Echo four, echo four. He has, he's not aware of Blitz getting behind. There is a big hole here. Yeah, he gave up his position in that northwest corner, which leaves this backside open. And Blitz doesn't even have to worry. He could just walk out and go. He could mm -hmm. actually cap. He could technically cap without encountering anyone. If we went down this west side, yeah. we went onto objective behind Tiger Striker. Just proned into the building. Cap. Yep. I'm, yeah, fine. And Rypix making more of a rotation. He's continuing his approach on the north. Blitz is now going for it. Blitz is out in the open. Let's see if Rypix turns around. Blitz makes the his problem cross. problem is, Raptors probably think that Rypix got this north probably locked down. Right pick is coming back. Blitz is moving up. Are they going to see each Timing other? Timing here. Blitz doesn't see right pick yet. You think he's going to? Though. Right pick's looking the wrong way. Oh, does he see him? Havoc gets one on the south side. FG on the forward position. Blitz just needs to go quiet. Oh, M Masu almost took him out. He gets right pick. Almost would have been better for Blitz not to kill there. He's in such a powerful position. They do need the points, though. Giving up. They just want a one point. One yeah. point. True. Yeah. 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 Masu gets another. You don't know what Rypex going to do. They're just cleaning him up. The Raptors are not defending this objective very well. You feel like they got a little pushy. They can totally yeah, Rypex get this push out there. If he'd locked the north down instead, it would have held the whole defense together a bit more. Obviously, soldiers getting picked in the south off also lost their south, but. Um, yeah, losing Rypek probably resulted in Death Redux also getting lost. Oh, oh that, first smoke, that first smoke was... Do you see where that went? No, I'm, went I'm watching Blitz try and make his approach. Oh, he's, he's hearing all these footsteps, but Masino goes down to Masu. And now Gladiator's in there. Gladiator is inside. Oh, he goes down. You can I also cap him right there. From there. Yes, you can. Wow. But Masu takes him out. Yeah, welcome to my world, like, uh, a couple weeks ago. I got capped on from outside. Rome take their first point of the series. Yeah, Lunas are down to two defenders on that objective. The attack is just going to be patient. There's just too much to cover, especially if you can cap from outside on that side as well. There's a lot to cover. It is. It's a lot. It's a very specific spot on both sides of that fuselage, but I believe you can cap on both. Yeah, it looked like it looked like Gladiator had his tablet out, and if you'd given him a, given Gladiator an extra couple of seconds, I'm sure that would have been a cap. Extra couple seconds is all most people need. That's what this game's all about. It's just about those few seconds make all the difference. Whether it's while you're making a rotation and someone looks the other way. They watch an angle for four minutes, and then on the second they look away, you just run through there. As soon as you're watching two angles, you're watching no angles. Oh, uh, words of wisdom from James Sun Tzu Boak over here. Because you got to assume that someone snuck through when you're looking another way. Like, so make sure you're just watching one line if possible, and if you're needing to watch two lines, you need you to got, be adjusting your you, position. You've got to really. do the hoochie. You've got to get the Pimax, and, and one eye goes one way, and one eye goes the other. Is that That's the way? That's the uh, hoochie. Is that uh, did the eyes occur when he smacked his head into that table? <laughs> or is that... No, it's just it's a side effect. Just, one, that you, the you wear the, the Pimax teeth. for so long, and your eyes just move apart like Sid from Ice Age. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. Hopping back into it. We're in round number five. Yeah, five. Whoop, yeah. Whoop. Math, math. And a new-ish objective. Uh, new 1.8. New objective. objective. I do like this objective. I am now very, very aware that you can cap from inside of it. But also like diving down behind that little wall if someone's in that southwest, you know, multi-story, five-story, three-story, whatever you call it. Um, just getting onto the objective and, and laying prone, you've got coverage on the objective to cap. I feel like you, you can't cap from inside anymore. Uh, I felt like you couldn't have capped from inside to start with, but apparently I was wrong. It, it seems so far you away. Can, you could cap from, you used to be able to cap from inside. I, I did it in a scrim against Raptors, actually. Um, and I think they moved it away. But you can now cap from, you can cap from on the stairs. Mm -hmm. If you go prone, I believe, and I think you can also cap from this side of this wall here. Um, oh, that's really far away. And smoke. Smoke is key. Um, yeah, this one's another one. If you look away from the ejector for a little bit too long, mm -hmm. you're going to have troubles. You can see that they are worried about the, the stair cap, the defense, with by having two in, um, in the hotel. It means that they can have Varix just watching the north side at all times. Um, and then Havoc can get a bit more... Uh, outwardly focused quite a compressed defense uh, you don't Masu really need having to, to watch two different lines here though you don't need to be extended mm. you got blitz down in the darkness let's turn off the lights and lasers again see how impossible it is to see him in the corner <sighs> right there that's him yep look at him look at him he's so dark I pers personally uh I'd pull Blitz back a bit more. I feel like... So the problem here, here is Blitz can't stop someone coming in the top side onto Gladiator and onto Objective. He's only watching the bottom side. Correct. Um, whereas if you pull him back to, like, on the top of the stairs or something, he can react to help the top side a bit more. So if he's, like, you know, the stairs up into that building, mm -hmm. I'm not going to try and fly them because that would be... But oh. Masu is also there... So if Gladiator goes down, he's supposed to stand up, turn around at the dumpster, and cover that objective. While Raptors people are very good at the... timing their attacks from multiple angles, though. So, yeah, they are. Um, and Masu first has to try and deal with soldiers. This is I haven't seen this spot used very much, though. Masu's spot, so soldiers might not be ready for it. Soldiers. Because at the point where you're wanting to look at Masu, you're also exposed to a lot of other angles. Yeah, like you, you're exposed to the, the center. You're worrying about yeah. a lot. You're worrying about a lot. Doesn't look like he's actually going to opt to go that way, though. He's rotating all the way back around. Yeah, I prefer the Tiger Strike, the north side of, we call this building Post Office? I post believe? Office. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, this is so Post Office. I prefer office. the north side of Post Office, prefer to the south. But getting that southeast June control is quite powerful. Now it looks like Tiger Striker is going to be the one to take this approach. Interesting frag. Oh, he flagged the corner. Masu didn't see it. Now he's pie in the corner. Oh, he makes it across. He makes it across. Behind dumpster on south, behind dumpster on south. And Masu's pushing at him. But he gets taken down from right pick on the far north side. What a shot. What teamwork there. He co you could hear Tiger Stry Striker almost panicked in his call out that there was one there. Rypik immediately onto the angle and look at look at that line. It's a long shot and Blitz also coming up from the garage, also missing the final cross on for Tiger Striker. And now he's in the east with no opposition really. He's gonna can potentially get up into that three story building. We've had a drop on the Raptor side. Just realized. Uh, we have now. Messino. So I didn't remember a Raptor dying. Messino has dropped. Tiger Striker still in that exposed area. Takes some shots at Blitz, doesn't connect. Gets the call outs out though. They know he's there. And Blitz doesn't really have any good options here. I mean, if I was him, I'd go back into the building and come out the top. Now FG Soldiers is inside the building. Smoke's on the objective from the north. That's some good smoke coverage. They're waiting. Death Redux get waiting for people to rotate out of the... Ooh, that nade. 
Good nades not going over the wall though, but they are waiting for people to come out of the hot hotel. Tiger gets blitzed. Now objective is exposed from the south. Blitz is just down though. Right pick gets Varix. Another one down. Pick. They're, they're getting picked off one at a time. FG hears Gladiator talking. He's waiting for him to come through. Blitz is making the call outs. Gladiator's pushing through the smoke. South Tiger strike it down. Blitz. Gladiator gets the refrag. Now FG's coming around the corner. He's coming through the door. He misses them. Now he's looking downstairs. FG's right there in the building. He's not going to see Gladiator. He's going to go down. Ride picks down as well. Def Redux, the last man standing. Wow, that turned back to Rome quickly. Raptors I, had control there. First window. First with a couple of very oh, key Def, gets, Def goes for the res, and right pick gets confirmed right in front of him. Now having no seats there. The shot's ringing out. He's not looking at his backside, though. Gladiator gets the kill. Secures round number, or point number two. Four. I feel like he should have known Gladiator was there. That was... And if he, he made the move, he had the cap. If he... Gladiator picked off soldiers there. Um, if Def Redux had known that, he was on objective. There was no chance of the rotation occurring back to objective before the cap came out. That, yeah, that that was 100% a Raptors offense, and it just blew up in their face. Yep. And I don't know what it was either. They had the picks. They had the they had the pick on objective. They got blitzed down. They got one down in the hotel. They got another as one down. As soon as they lost Rypik down to the guy in the hotel, as soon as Rypik lost that battle, that's when it collapsed. Um, from there, Tiger Striker got picked in the south by Gladiator. Then, then Soldiers got picked. Both of them not really identifying where Gladiator would be and clearing his position. And then Def Redux also not identifying where Gladiator could be and clearing that position. So Gladiator... You know, three kills pulling it out the bag there. Yeah, I mean, it's a very uncommon spot. I wouldn't actually have thought to look there either. I would be definitely looking in the stairs in that building. Uh, but, yeah. I think it's one of the most most powerful and potentially should be well-used spots for this objective because you're you're tucked in enough to not get easily picked. See, and you can also re react onto the smoke on the stairs. But that's our secret, James, is we have to do things that you don't think we're going to do to outsmart you. It's reverse psychology. Actually, now you, you don't know what I'm going to do. the thing I hate the most about like, pub lobbies. It's like, but you shouldn't be there. That's not <laughs> a smart thing to do. You've killed me from a location, which is really just... Ah, shouldn't work. Oh, I but play I, but everything I've... like a pub lobby. Yeah, it often works quite well. Um, even even just a, a slight adjustment of a known position off... A few feet mm. one way or the other is enough to give you that extra second that you need to get the kill. The Tiger Striker is going to be taking the south defense there. Uh, that's a new spot. I don't think I've seen that before. Not actually watching the south. He's watching north and not moving, trying to be as inconspicuous as possible. The defense here from Raptors. We've got all five on the board. One in the southwest or southeast three story, one in the hotel, two in the center, and one in the south not, by Hesco. They're not watching. Rypix now rotated onto it, but he's split focus yet again. He's split focus on the on the fuselage objective. And if he comes off that, Gladiator's lining up for it. If he comes off it, Gladiator's going to cap before anyone knows about it. Messino might hear him, but that's it. He just runs up the street? Yeah, if he just runs up the street, there's a gap. All all no. they need to do is have Blitz draw a little bit of fire and keep Rypik's attention. Or kill him. I mean, if he could kill him from under or the money trucks, yeah. that would also... But killing him is probably worse, because then the... the is there are the shots. Yeah. Oh, Wow! Right pick with that eagle eye gets a kill. Let's see if I got that on a Go good replay. Right pick is a very good shot, as, as we've seen from the previous round as well. Well, it looks like we could get some encounters coming up in the south here. 
you know, panning over there now. Tiger Striker really needs to stay quiet and use that radio, you know, give those clicks, you know, three, three clicks as Tiger Striker, and that causes Rypik to look this way. Masu doesn't see him, but Rypik does, but he misses the shots. Now Masu, known, uh, death is here also in the south. Tiger Striker not making noise. Probably the right thing to do. Rypik has adjusted his line to be ready for him, but he, that means he's not watching Gladiator's move. Gladiator just needs to do like he used to do and just run straight for the objective. Classic Gladiator. Come on. Yeah, Gladiator actually very, very held back uh, at the APC. Shots from Death Redux. Behind trying to hit Masu in the south, not catching him. Now Tiger Striker trying to get it. There he goes. A PKM does kill people. And now Rypex back up watching the angle. They they lost their little gap there. When Masu was distracting them, that's when the gap was occurring. Watch objective still, watch objective still. Rypex making sure that the team knows to watch that objective still. He says as he walks away from the objective. Gladiator can see it. He can see the objective. He can taste it. Masino putting shots on a Varix at the opening to the garage, the pit. Smoke being used to his advantage, but he sees him just over the top of it as the smoke rolled down the hill. And now it's all to Havoc and Gladiator, but Gladiator's still in a great position to get this cap. Ooh, he might have been spotted, though. Not sure. Not sure if he was low enough for Tiger to not see him here. Be a very, very tiny gap. Suspense. What's happening in the south? I can't watch Gladiator anymore. I can. Havoc's getting close as well. But he's got a, he's got a lot to deal with. Havoc shouldn't make it through here. Gladiator knows right Gladiator. here. He can hear the footsteps. Is he actually going to choose to try and bypass it. It looks like he's going to go for it. He's going to go he's going to go for he's, the kill, which do is it, do it in reverse. Use this use this Humvee and do it in reverse. FG soldier is going to see him. I think so. Yeah. Him up. He, yeah. Echo 1, Echo 1. They know that they know the kill count. Yeah. yeah. Of course Accurate they know the kill, kill count. count. Everyone's alive on their team. <laughs> um Havoc all on his own right, in the right south. With their kill has caught up with Soldier. Soldier Z getting 7 in the first two rounds and then uh right back being like 8 8 Seven and four for both. Of them. They are the two top killers for Raptors, as we found out at the end of the last um, season. Havoc, picking a rotation. Fifty seconds left. Doesn't have enough time to go north. Has to go, basically right back to it. I'm not sure where his plan is, but he is at forty-five seconds now, going towards center. Burning. Not even enough time to get to objective from there. He has to go book it straight through glass right now. Let's see it. 35 seconds. He's going to get that beep and be like, oh. Beep, beep, 30 seconds. He gets one. Right pick goes down on the north. Now the north is exposed. There's no one there. But he needs to move. 20 seconds on the clock. No way. No way. No not way. Gonna uh, he's not going to make it. He is. Ooh, he's there. He is going to make it. Get low and get what that cap out. Position? Come on, read that code. He's got eight seconds left. He needs to stay low. Stay low. Get in there, five seconds left. Oh, he's running out of time. Oh, no, he's gonna make it, he's gonna make it. Nope, time's up. Oh, he didn't. Oh, oh. wow. That was not good defense that was rotation. Absolute terrible defense. Raptors they four leading up. away. They four up and they led him onto objective. By the skin of their teeth. They went hunting for him and he threaded the needle. Wow. That's the most common cap spot for that objective too. Like, leave one hidden, so that at least you're not going to get, all get picked off, and just delay him. Especially with that amount of time left. I didn't, I didn't think he was going to make it. I like, they were going to do something to try and stop him. Yeah. Bad play there. I know Barksman's in chat. Uh, definitely going to have to talk to your team about that one. That was that was pure greed. Uh, would you agree? Uh, they were they wanted that kill. Yeah, yeah. If, if, literally, if... Um, Havoc had been, you know, a second quicker on a cap. Like, that was a... That wasn't... He was on objective for at least three seconds. Which... 
you know, against lots of people would be a cap. Um, obviously, there's the pressure element when it's the last three seconds of the round and all that sort of stuff, but that was a cap. And if either he'd had it a second longer or he been a little bit quicker, that would have been a cap. Um, he was yeah. danger close. That was a cap opportunity Ra missed. Raptors could easily be, have been on four points right now. Sorry, Rome could Rome. easily have been on four points right now. Yeah. Could have tied it. Actually, could have taken the lead. Four three, it would have been. Taken it would have taken the lead. Yeah. Like we said, seconds matter. That's it's all about the seconds. Mm. That that whole round though, the defense was. It had holes. It had holes, which In as you saw, as soon as Ryback went down, if if Ryback had gone down earlier, <laughs> Gladiator could have capped. There were multiple times which could have a cap could have come out. Speaking of caps, this objective very capable. You can cap from outside the wall on the east side of it. You can cap the north side of this building. Um, really hard to defend it with one or two up. You have to be in certain key locations looking across the objective, and you do really don't want to let the, the attacking team to get onto it or behind it. Um, north spawn for Raptor, or northeast crater spawn for Raptors, and they only need one point to take map number one. They will be very aware of that, um, and will be looking for picks rather than necessarily going all out for the cap, I believe. Havoc taking up the forward defensive position there with the laser trained on him. They are waiting for him to peek it. Who is this? Def is just looking for someone to peek their head out on the roof. Here he goes. He's going to pile. He's running up this. Ah, he's gone. Oh, That's what it. A shot. That is, wow. Instant, instantaneous headshot. Yep. Mark 18 with nine damage. A direct headshot being the one way to take anyone out with any gun. And that clears a, that, that puts a big hole in the south defense there. Letting both of the attackers on the south move through the hospital unopposed. Huge hole and unnecessary to go roof, I feel. Yeah, uh, um, gas station or gas station garage, much better defensive position. Or even by the wall. In the ho here. Or even in the hospital. In, in, in the Inside, hospital, yeah. the stairwell, like things like that. There's... The roof is exposed. If, if you can see them, they can Very. see you. That's the, that's the sniper's mantra. And you've got to clear about... 10 different spots as you peek that corner, especially peeking that corner near like that. You've gone from exposing nothing to exposing everything within two steps. Especially to like because multiple different locations. I don't think they'd called a spawn yet. I don't think they had any idea where the uh, spawn was. There's the pre fire onto the stairs from Tiger Striker, drawing some attention to the south, but Masu not giving up his dark hole. This objective. They've got this, impact this, control as well. This is encirclement. That it one impact is, needed to a, a little bit. There's there's no one. It should be a cap. There's no one watching cap. this. This is a cap. A hundred percent. Just walk right across the, the intersection and go cap. They seriously not Blitz and Masu. No, they have they not. They not realized they've lost the guy in the hospital. You know that's that's what I'm thinking. But like Blitz is now looking south, more south, but still not enough to guard the angle. I could literally just stroll across there, standing up to the white this car. Is the, and the approach from the hospital in is very common. It's my preferred approach, personally. It would be to go uh, hospital and then gas station garage across, across onto objective. Um, and it's not covered. Yeah, I got him down the Defensive... Uh, the defense on both teams are getting a little bit fortunate, um, it seems, during quarantine. Quarantine is such a hard map to defend, though. There's so many different approaches, Ooh, especially look at this, the new quarantine. Look at this angle from Tiger Striker here, trying Tiger to hit Striker. Blitz. Yeah, is that, that one from, yeah, from, this, from the stairwell through? Yeah. Oh, he's going to go high and try and peek it now. Has he spotted Blitz? I, he shot at him. Oh, okay. He, I mean, he was the last one to shoot. I don't know if he shot at him or shot... At, at something, but definitely put rounds down range. They know that Masu's in burning. He, Masu took one out in the north. If he's shot at Blitz as well, they know he's there. Um, and they probably can assume one's an impact. It was a trade, but as far as they're aware, oh, they don't have good kill count. There's still the nobody watching the objective. I mean, I get that it doesn't matter. You lose either way if it's a cap or a kill, but like. It's still another way of not challenging them. 
You should like, challenge them. What is Gladiator watching? I'm gonna look at the overhead. He's inside impact looking west. There's a frag onto the objective. Would be oh look at that backboard. Would have been a great throw had anyone actually been defending the objective. It's actually probably a giving away position a bit too much. I don't know. Okay, Gladiator now I'm making. Just, a I'm not sure. No, he's going yeah. north. He's running away from the objective. He's going north. Awesome south more. It's Masu Masu's now watching it's like it a awesome bit more, at least. Now the smoke's coming. The smokes have actually a detrimental for the Raptors. Yeah, giving away that they're gonna. They've go actually for given this. away that they're gonna go there. Yeah. Gladiators gets one in the north, clears that up. They know Masu is in center burning. They know, maybe know the Blitz is there, and they know someone's in the far. Oop, that's a frag. Now it's down to two Raptors, three Rome alive. They're letting them get back into position. Gladiator making his way back from the impact. And yeah, FG and Tiger Strike are just together. They need some aggression. Both teams, the last couple of rounds, it just potentially overthinking it second guessing themselves a bit too much um oh blitz rotating off right at the wrong time una unable to support soldiers getting on to masu potentially gladiator though masu yeah he's on second floor second floor mid burning tiger striker gets blitz oh, down masu fg is bypassing masu but gladiator comes around the corner and gets him Oh, and Masu gets wow. Tiger Striker, and they don't get to the objective. Rome staying alive with a third point. What? What a play. These last couple of rounds have not gone the way we see them going. They cast of you. You see gaps. You see big gaps, and you're like, why don't you just do it? And it's, it gets frustrating at times, but... Yeah, I feel like this, that one especially, probably more so than the previous round, it just felt like Rome didn't realize that they had the big gap. At least in the previous round, they had Rypik assigned to watching the, the north side of the objective. Mm -hmm. It didn't seem like they had anyone in that round um, assigned or responsible or adjusting to watch that south between Blitz and Masu. Um, that could easily have been a cap. There were multiple lines in onto the objective without any ability to rotate back onto it or cover it. Yeah, I just the one kill in the south and and no no rotation, no adjustment, no nothing off of that one kill. And that kill occurred 40 seconds into the round. Right. Definitely seeing some rust on both sides of the battlefield here. Mm. Now we have another Defree seven kill player on another the raptor seven. side. Yeah. <laughs> I was just about to say that Def Redux getting getting himself up with the sevens. Currently in the Tiger lead because he has four next. deaths. Do you count deaths? I don't count deaths too much. I mean, they have the same amount of kills and he has less deaths, so technically yeah, he he's in the lead. Has, has... True, true. I tend to Gladiator also deaths. on the other side, That's seven to five. Cool. Yep. And a couple of sixes in there as well. Miss and Havoc. Good sharing of the bounty. Hmm. Sharing bounty is caring. Do you, have, do you have bounty bars? I don't know what that is. Oh, man. So I'm gonna go with no. Do you like, co do you like coconut? No. Oh, oh I mean, yeah, we, we have bounty bars. Yeah, I just I, I know yeah. what they are. I just don't ever eat them because I don't like coconut. Ah, fair enough. I like bounty. He says living on an island. Yeah, I was just going to be like, hmm, interesting choice. Yeah. Do you have, uh, are there lots of coconut trees on? There are absolute there? loads of coconut trees. Have you learned to climb one yet? Uh, I, I am a very climby person. I'm like Spider-Man. As my friend Androsini in chat would say, I'm electric on the trees. Four south, Echo four south. That's Higher. the position I'm more commonly seen. And Havoc just running straight through the open. Havoc being the first to be picked. This time, he outdid himself of the previous round and he went down 30 seconds into the round. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, not a spot you cross without pre-firing smoke or something. No. You have to, no. you can't see in there. You cannot know that there's not someone there. You you can just see it with a twelve with a sorry with the six times you can see it with the four times I haven't really run it, but with the six times you can see it if you go wide up into the dunes. Um, 
And then obviously if you switch your six times to twelve times, then you can see it even more so. Fun fact for the folks Focus at home, if you pick from, the 12x, it actually to defaults to the 6x mode. I did not know this. Mm. Yeah, it records the 12x. Oh, it is a gladiator. Does... He knows how to deal with it. That's how... From there? From there, right? Yeah, I'm confused. That was... I thought Varex was the one who shot it. Me oh. too. Yeah. Wait, how did he... Wait, what? He just hit, he just hit, hit the it roof? Onto... He hit, yeah. hit it inside on the roof. Wow, what a shot from gladiator. See, I normally run up to the side of it and chuck a uh, airburst frag through that window. Well, not position. everyone can throw frags like you, James. Well, Gladiator apparently can, as long as he subs it down a down Yeah, the yeah he, can, he can throw it with a little bit of pneumatic behind it, and now he's getting a nade under the roof, too, to clear that. Some great, great placements there from Gladiator. Tiger Striker, I feel like cannot reach his radio because he has not made callouts yet. Rypick from North Glass, missing Gladiator on the cross, but continuing his rotation to the east and he's gonna get picked up by Varix in the backfield Varix is way out there all oh, right picks not even gonna look that direction Varix, like this. Varix right sees him on, nope. on defense this is his modus operandi a little bit right pick gets hurt he has no idea where those shots came from he's standing in the middle of the street he's looking he's healing he has no idea he where hears he my shot so. from. I think he hears me so he does Varix is looking for a better angle. Masu, not ready for it, thinks he's on the corner. He, he goes down. He did down. know where Varix was, roughly. But he was just waiting for Masu. And he's made a he nice rotation. Nice as well. He's seen Gladiator. Gladiator goes down oh, to Messino from Messina the backside. Messino saving Rypex's life. Rypex still Rypex had a... about nine lives then, yeah. seriously. Very lucky on that rotation. Now wait, I lost a blue. Right. Blitz. Blitz is in the north proning. He's in the impact really? building. Blitz? He likes to go slow. He's going very Rome slow. played against us, and we had a 2v1 against him on downfall. Our defense was not well set up. I'm going to go right out there and say that. Um, person way too far off objective, and Blitz got the one on objective and capped before the rotation occurred. FG um, Soldiers. Like 10 seconds to go. Keeps looking this direction, but I don't know if he's going to be ready to see Blitz. If Redux's rotation is key here. If he takes it, Blitz is going to take the shot. Some shots. There it yep, is. Yes, yep. The res comes out, Tiger Striker back up in the field. Four on two. Varix also making Varix a long rotation. Yeah, off. two and a half minutes left. He's in the crater. He's got a long way to go to the objective, and they're all hunting Blitz. I don't know if they have an accurate kill count again, or if they're just getting greedy. They're all looking for Blitz. Okay. They're all okay, let's, moving. Let's, let's, let's recap the kills. So the first kill on Havoc, that's known. The kill on Masu is known. The kill on Gladiator oh, is known. Saw Messino. The kills should be none. They should be. I unless, agree with you. Unless they killed out, they've called out a kill twice, maybe. If they only think one's remaining. Which they really shouldn't have killed out a kill twice because everyone was alive up until about 30 seconds ago. And they had eyes on everybody as well. Messino keeps mm. peeking this corner. But Blitz misses the shots, and then he goes down to right pick from a nice refrag. From the center burning, and now it's all up to Varix. He gets FG soldiers, but he's got three Raptors still alive in a minute 25 to deal with them. And now they have an accurate kill count. Um, if someone had been with Blitz here, they could have kept on them. If someone had been with Blitz, let's find let's find the hole here. If you're, someone had been with Blitz, but actually saying, had gone punch, wide. Punch a hole and then, yeah. If he'd gone wide and then come along now that so uh, tiger strike is getting if he'd come along here onto the north side of this building and just cap this north side where i am now yep not visible yep so okay. and that it. could have easily been occurring someone could have been running with blitz obviously Varix then took shots afterwards blah 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 but if he Varix had rotated out minor least, yeah. minor detail yeah. right pick sees minor Varix. he gets hit puts the smokes out doesn't have a flash cannot deal with right pick right pick comes out of the corner swings and gets him and raptors take their fifth point but it was a very hard fought five points for map number one Woo. right pick hitting that double digit Ten. kill count got them double digits gotta get claps with double digits always a big achievement even when there's the extra rounds so we've got a couple of extra rounds from the normal format um or potentially a couple of extra rounds from the normal format um but still getting to double digits is a good achievement um, 
And for the folks at home, for map number two, we are going to be playing Dry Run, but we do require a rehost to remove the home field advantage, so to speak. Um, so we're going to cut to a quick intermission. Is there anything you want to say about this map, how it went before we cut out? Stressful. I felt stressed casting it, and um, <laughs> I hope the next map is a little bit less stressful. Uh, please and thank you, Rome and Raptors. Yeah, we'll see how much uh, experience they have on Dry Run in a little bit, but we'll be right <laughs> back after this quick intermission. Enjoy the music.
And we are back. We're in dry run, and we're about to kick it off. I just heard Raptors talking about the glow, so this map was updated uh, the Today. lighting a little bit, but it seems like Quest may still have a bit of a glow. On PC, looking pretty good now. That really good. Just want to make that comment. Map maker putting in that extra effort to sort out side. before matches. Ooh, tight little line onto Tiger Striker through that doorway. Yeah, you can't actually you get, get out the there. door, but you can see it. I didn't realize that was a thing. Ooh, a nice nade up and over. Gonna come down right on top of right pick, and he goes down. Great nade. That was a James level nade right there. Gladiator coming up, and uh, is Def Redux gonna get the kill? No, they're gonna go for it in the double tap from Gladiator. He's moving up onto the objective. He's going for that good positioning on the north side where you can see it's, down. I, it's, it's, it's see no, you, can, you cannot, but you can see down there. Okay. Great pick by Messina there. All right, I've got a, a, a VR Marksman made a comment in the chat, and he said that I was a little bit too mean to Havoc about him dying early. Now, it comes from a place where Havoc hurt us badly by killing us a lot on Arctic. Okay? Um... <laughs> To be fair, Havoc he is still very, alive. He was very mean, and he shot me a lot. Um, so I'm just trying to get some back on him, okay? Varix and Havoc. Um, last two roam up. 2v2. If he goes up the stairs here, up on top of the roof. Oh, yeah. But you got to get to there without soldiers absolutely destroying you. The shots Oops, from the Havoc. They've been watching that door for the whole time. It's a good one to watch. But eventually, they will have to come off it. Unless soldiers gets greedy. Yeah, what is the approach here? Um, that's what I'm trying to like, figure out. I feel like Raptors, yeah, just lost one too many with that rotation to, for the revive. Um, if that had gone the other way, if Def Redux had taken out Gladiator, then obviously he would have got the revive as well. I mean, he heard mean, him coming. He was gun up. He wasn't he was going for, for the rest. He was, he was going for a fight. It just Gladiator just shot better. Um, it was a hit on head. The smoke's in a good position, slightly forcing Messino out of his position. Can and Messino blocking. Them trying to find them, it looks like. Trying to block the door to FG as well. Messina rotating into the other building on objective. Now, do they have any utility remaining? Because this would be a great objective for using utility. Havoc picks Messino on objective from the second floor. Oh, I didn't manage that. That's a, you know, a sneaky little sneaky little shot. Oh, beautiful. Nice little line. Yeah. So looks like they have done a little bit of research on this map. Um, Havoc knowing the lines. What is research? Varix. Yeah. Who's got time for that? FG is Varix? in a room. Does Varix have a frag? He doesn't even need and it. If so, no, he should have. He should have. I bet he can walk up and cap outside of Soldier's line. How far is Soldier's pan? He is panning. Oh, he's going to go. Try, he's trying to shoot. He's trying to shoot him. He's trying to get Havoc to tell Varix if he's there. See, look, Varix is signaling. Havoc, is there a guy there? Havoc's like, I can't see you, mate. <laughs> the hand signals. The hand yeah. signals. You have like two, two minutes of like silent grudging. It's going to be hard. He's, he's going to say up. he's going to drop down and turn and then get onto soldiers, but. He doesn't. It's offset by one. Here's what you do. Havoc needs to distract. Havoc needs to go around the corner towards yep, objective. Yep, yep. And then yep. Varix needs to just drop down on him. Yep. Or we'll put a smoke. Put, uh, ha Varix has got a flash. Havoc has got... Flash would be pretty difficult a, to get. Nothing? He doesn't have anything, no. Flash would be difficult to get where you need it from up there. So it has to go in front of that door. He's gonna do Looks it. Looks like he's going. He's just gonna drop in the, the near one yeah. to make sure that he's make sure that he's no one near. Havoc's reading the code. He's coming. Nope. Oh, 
Can he cap on? Oh no, Soldiers is checking it every now and then by going wider. Yeah, he is. He's sp he's spanning enough of the objective area, but there's 55 seconds left. He's got to be getting nervous. Shots ringing out now. He's just panning back and forth slowly. In this Wait. close encounter, Soldiers would be one of the few you'd choose. Definitely. He's capable of pulling this off. Varix is hand signaling. And Havoc goes down. Varix was not hand signaling well enough. 30 seconds left. I feel like sometimes you just need to talk, call things out. Like, Soldiers knows that dude's there. I don't think he does. Um, he does now. I don't think he does. You didn't hear him drop off? No. Oh, wow, okay. 15 ah. seconds. He's going to run out of time, though. Varix is checking his watch. That doesn't make noise. There it is. Apparently not. Not much you can do about a quick peek like that. Um, you're dead before you realize it. The person's there. Is that point for Rome? On map number two. Gotten distracted reading the chat from your your friends. They're getting very engaged in the chat. I'm they are. They keep keeping our chat engaged is what they do. A couple of English lads here on the island. Nice, nice. Whereabouts in England are they from? Do you know? Uh, one is from Cheshire, okay. and the other I don't remember. No, Manchester. One's from Manchester. Putting you on the spot here. How well do you it's know your friends? Mancunian. I don't know where the other one's from, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, Glad ended with those two key picks, uh, probably resulting in the round win, I feel like. The pick on Rypick and then Def Redux, uh, as he came to support, were the pivotal point. And then yeah. obviously really nicely cleaned up and finished by Varix there. And Havoc. Havoc with that really tight line through onto Messino and then Varix with the quick peek onto soldiers to win it um, nothing too spicy or different coming out from that objective um, it was just a methodical approach through the last couple of minutes and here we go up into round number two wow it's close born it is a is very... Is one they got? Uh, no. Well, we're going to see some C4 action here. Oh, it's going to be super spicy. Super early. I will. Here we go, Masu. Yeah. Masu, sorry. I know, it's too close. Someone has to change their name. Just unacceptable. There's M's and O's in it. I'm is done. He, is he prone? Can you see through there? Can you shoot through there? That's the better question. That is a dirty angle. That is indeed... I, I feel like I need a shower. Oh, yuck. Death's going to be I feel corner. happy that I've learned the spot. And everyone else watching has also learned the spot. This is why it's good to watch cast, guys. You now know the spot. Masu takes his shot. Now Death's going to reap. Wow! The reap! He was ready for it. He was ready for it. Masu did take shots at him and he re -peaked. He knew exactly where it was. Perfect. I don't think he knew until the shots happened. Okay. Yeah, fair. Now Varric's gonna the, be- spot, I'm just not going that way. It's way too low down for me. I can't get that low anymore. How low can you go? Not that low. Havoc way off of position two on the defense. He's up in the north parking lot. Is that the north? That's the west parking lot. Upper parking lot. We'll call it upper parking lot. Technically, it's the only parking lot, so we'll just call it parking lot. Right? There's no other parking lot. Oh, and an explosion takes down FG soldiers on the roof. I mean, like, there's technically a car somewhere in this, no, somehow in this courtyard here. <laughs> Some good driving. Oh, I suppose you can get through that gate. Oh, there's another one here. Anyways, um, yes, upper parking lot or parking lot, sure. There are still four and a half Raptors alive. Two defenders on objective and one way off of position. That flash, oh, that flash is definitely going to get Tiger Strike. He is blind. He's he's pre-firing a wall. FG is back Doesn't... up. Masio goes down, or Havoc goes down to Rypik, actually. Oh, 
Oh, it looks like we may have some of your Barbadosian, Bayan. How do you how do how do you say it? Varix goes down on objective. Now Blitz, last yeah, man standing. In the same spot as soldiers, almost. A little bit, a little bit different. Come on, he's only got five to kill. Come on, yeah, right. come on, Blitz. Five Raptors. There goes one. One. There goes two. two he fell to his death. He shot himself. <laughs> he shot himself. He shot himself in midair because he was shooting. His body accelerated into his gun. This has gone uh, real, real it's bad. It's not joking about only having to get five, but I know, no, right? It's only three. Technically, they could have capped on him here, though. There could be someone in that green smoke. Ooh, is that close enough? Probably not, actually, to be fair. Now, Depp's going to try it. He's going to try to go for the roof. They just need to time this together. Coordination. Just needs to drop to first rather than try and shoot in midair at someone like... I mean, but it looks did. so cool. It does look pretty cool. Is he, he just, just flying all of his team? Yep. Yes, he did. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> Rypix's like, oh, I got this kill. Who's got the frame? I got Who's this got the frame <laughs> to shoot this guy? <laughs> Someone just is going to run in there. Rypix's going to run in there. Here we go. Rypix's going to run in there. He's like, I'll, I'll do this, guys. Yeah, Rypix. Rypix wants to kill. Same spot as soldiers. <laughs> did he just. Oh, he jumped off of the stairs. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice little play. So we got a little replay there too. Nicer angles. You don't get your ankles taken out as much. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it's not a spot you expect because they come around the corner instead of down the stairs. Mm. Right pick on top with three kills again. Point four Raptors tie it back up one to one on map number two. Now we're moving over to the soccer field. Was this or is it? No, nope. it's just the uh, call-outs, James. Let's make them up. Um, Let's call that the compound. No. Nope. Oh, it's exactly what... No, no, I was going to say compound. It's yeah, exactly it's what compound. I was going to say. I feel like it's a compound. Center compound? Compound? compound. I'm just, I was, so I was, all I was looking for was where on the map we are. Yeah. So sort of this northeast... It's east a compound. compound. It's, the mo it's the biggest cluster of buildings. They're all tied it's together. It's the east, eastern compound here. Oh, conclave? Is conclave a good word? I don't know if conclave is a good word. Is it apply? Is it what? what? I don't know if that word... Does that word apply in this scenario? A conclave? Yeah. This whole thing would be a conclave because it's got a walled... It's, it's a walled... Uh, what do you call it? Conclave. Walled thingy. Walled plaza. No, apparently it just means a... This is the definition of what? conclave. Apparently it just... It goes straight to um, Papal Conclave. Conclave. Oh, it's the meeting place. Okay, apparently it has nothing to do with the compound. I swear it had something to do with the... Conclave comes from Latin... Conclave. Conclavius. Meaning lo lockable room. Oh, well, okay. So you have a conclave in your basement then? Well, obviously. <laughs> lockable Back. and permanently locked. Back into the gameplay. I think there's only one spawn for this one. If I remember my match the other night, right? This is the only spawn for this one. Okay. Good to know. I'm um, just looking at where and the potential cap, cap spots could be. Inside this building, maybe. Uh, what about inside that? Uh, that building. Oh, that looks like it could be a dangerous one. How do you get in there? While James is just perusing the buildings. We're gonna follow along on the Rome side. Nope, we're gonna follow along on the deaf side as he takes down Havoc. Uh, what was that? Less than 30 seconds into the round? Wasn't me. <laughs> okay, so that one you have to come through there anyways. Okay. Can you cap from up top? Rypix getting oh, in a pretty, good position. Masu looking at the window. Is he gonna see deaf? Yep, so Tiger Striker's position is probably the best last man position. Right here. Except getting shot from the side. As long as Masu's alive, Masino's alive. That was a trade. FG Soldier still, still alive. Gladiator down. The res should come out. There's some more smoke grenades coming out. Rypix's position is going to be real strong here. He just needs to so stay alive. So I just alive. called out his kill as a headshot. He's like, I headshot that dude. Rypix trades dead. with Blitz, and now there's only two roam left. Varix being one of the last two. Um, and now Masu is blinded by his own teammate and then gets murdered. 
I think he might have been <laughs> blind. I don't know if he was blind, but he definitely <laughs> got murdered. The soldier's down himself again. Worth it. Two rounds in a row. He just wants to give his teammates some revives. I'll fucking kill myself. <laughs> I want to hear what, how happy he is about it. He's not very happy. Hey, I'm down. I don't know how many... Yeah, Tiger, bro. What do you do? <laughs> They're like, how do I get to you? How did you this get down? Shit, dude. It's a, Disregarded. I, I did the fight same fucking thing. I don't have any, any... Do you have... Just pick no, one last one time you shot yourself in midair, oh, soldiers. Yeah, this time you fell off. Ditched your ass. I feel like last time he he went down when he was in midair. I I I think he fell. He had already been damaged. He was he was down by the C4, so I believe he fell, hit the ground, and and went down again. Yeah, yeah. He went down this time. He went down from a fall. I feel like last. No, time I feel like I feel like last time he just hit the ground and, and oh, last time? Okay. got down. Okay. He was shooting, but that's not what got him. I thought it was like did some weird vertical acceleration part of the game and put his body inside his gun, like it used to. They have no idea where this last guy is. They've, lo they've given up the what I thought was the best last man defensive spot. It's fine. There's another good last man defensive spot. So you need to be able to see... You need to be able to stop them getting in this doorway. Because they could probably cap from inside on that, I, I feel. Can they get... How do they get upstairs? They can go upstairs from here. So you can't stop that. So you just need to be able to see the cap from upstairs. And you can't let them get inside this building here. So if you are sitting back somewhere... In this doorway, yeah, this is quite nice. Back here, yeah. Or back in here, back that, in there where Tiger Striker wasn't That should hard. work. Yeah, a couple of nice little spots there. Oh, even back. Back here. Oh, yeah, Messina trying to get it all directed. Nicely done. Yeah, they're trying to coordinate their direction so they're all looking the same way. You want to have set up your defense so you can also react onto it. So Varrick's can't just pick one off at a time. You want to be able to, as soon as the pick occurs, especially when it's a 3 for one your next person just wants to react and just finish the round right there. Um, rather than making it three 1v1s. Actually make it a 3v1. That makes sense? That makes sense. It makes sense. Varrick's is low. Is he going to loot the body or is he just going to go for the window? It's gonna go for the window, the peek at the different top. Oh, he sees headshot. There's 1v1. That was a 1v1. They are reacting. Where'd he go? Is he upstairs? He is upstairs. I haven't locked it down. Can you lock it down? You can lock it down if you had someone upstairs. Ooh. And another. It's another headshot. 1v1. Now it's an actual 1v1. Tiger Strike yeah, here looking, they're... punching, and he Lucky. does find the kill. Wow. They are missing their in-game leader, um, or one of their in-game leaders, with VR Marksman not there, and that may be showing a little bit. Um, that was two definite 1v1s, and then resulted in an actual 1v1 at the end, um, when they could have had a little bit more stressful defense if they just stayed a bit more locked down. you got to remember... Uh, People watching, I'm sure most of you know this. Uh, we do have a couple of new people. Uh, when you're on attack, if you do not make it to the satellite dish and send the code, you lose the round. So you have to come to the satellite dish. Uh, the defense know that. Um, so pushing out on defense to take the fight to the attacker, generally not the best practice unless you do it in a way which um, you know, really locks them down. We have it, do have a drop on the Raptor side, so maybe a little bit of a break between these rounds. I'm sure Trip and I are perfectly capable of filling the void with um, nonsense, generally. Welcome, hold on, uh, check cam one. Welcome to something something mining station. This is a mining station. Uh, AD, CAD, 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 Come, mate. Oh, come. All right. I need higher Blackenos. res. I need higher Blackenos res. Blackenos is in the chat. Yeah, we will us. find out in six minutes. We will find out in six minutes, unless it's something rude, in which case we probably won't find out ever, and he'll be like, I don't know what you're on about. Um, he did say it's a compound. It's a compound. Okay, 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 okay. okay. All right, we didn't have to... Wait, oh, long. there's the marksman. Talking of in-game leader. Oh, marksman. He was done. He was so done with his team, just not 
doing well, and he had to come and solve it. No, no, watch your time. Oh, God. This is just, yeah. this is just us. This is just us. Okay, they're whisper darker. Into his ear. Just run straight in there, marksman. Do Why it. do they have night vision? This is not a night vision map. They are all running night vision. Yeah, this I bring is, night vision on this. It is uh, not uh, dark. Oh, here's a shot. Varys been... takes down one. Damn. He lost it. Marksman's reaction. Oh, Havoc, it's another. That that western approach, I think that's west. That whatever approach was not going well. Now it's up to Rypick and Marksman. Northern approach. That was north the north. You are across correct. the north. Marksman just watched his teammate get mowed down and just goes, oh, like, damn. No, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> just stands there. Oh, boy. They pushed out and they are holding some good lines here, bro. They definitely had some practice on that 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 long cross line. So who's with? Oh, Marksman and Rypik. Good. They're both very. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Use your players, words. Generally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mhm. Mm words. Mm -hmm. Words. Yep, words yep. are coming. Um, I was gonna say thoughtful players, but then I was just reflecting back. You to say some of the thoughtful, moves. but yet Rypik, they're literally Rypik on top of each on, other. Um, <laughs> on quarantine. Okay. They're just Quarant talking, the coming up with a plan. Okay. Nope. Hey. Hey. Plan is let's kill them all. Here we go. Right pick's getting aggressive. I wanted to just see Marksman absolutely into 203 havoc. I know. Position, but I feel it might be a smoke cause by the fact he didn't do it. Blitz and right pick. Ooh. Oh, right pick's still alive. He's going to be able to call it out. Echo 4. Echo 4, Echo they, they four. don't have a kill count. They don't have kill count. Uh huh. Ooh, did he just Needs. correct himself? I don't know. Do it, do it. He's up. Two on three. Can I get a kill count, please? I got echo four. Oh, just us. They are just now aware that it is just them. Ooh, that's not great. They were literally chatting in a corner thinking that they still had players alive. But Marksman saw them die right in front of his eyes. I only saw one die, just... and then he ran away while his other teammate died. Well, oh, he's right there for his death. He could have held his hand almost. He, yeah, he, I mean, he he could have he could have finished him off quickly by letting him bleed out over there on the stairs. Mm. Marksman trying to find a door here. There's no door. He's gonna go Ooh. around. Nice smoke. Blocking that location. Havoc very exposed on that rooftop there, panning back and forth. They don't actually have the def the objective lockdown. Marksman scanning the windows. Oh, they're just barely missing each other. Gladiator now. He goes down to right pick. Critical pick. This is going to force some rotations. Marksman still trapped under the radio antenna. Cannot find a way out. Is he actually trapped? No, he's just no, running he's in good. circles. <laughs> it's, I, I, I feel that struggle. When you don't know a map potentially as well as you, you would usually... And you're like, just oh, trying just to spot missing. the timing. Just, both of them just missing Havoc. It's just <laughs> a crazy. And you don't know a map quite as well as you would like to. And you're like, what's well, the best approach? And you're going around in your head. Like, come on. Think. If you just think hard enough, will you come up with an approach which will work? And you just run straight into a person. He did it even in M203, Frag. He's under Varks. One's on the far side of the map. He's off objective. How did he see Havoc? Or hear him? He right I think he just put it into that. He just put him into that. Put it into that building. Right. Where, pick. Um... What? No. Wait, did Rypick see him? Rypick called out Havoc. Havoc was on this shorter corner, so maybe he gun exposed for a second. Mm -hmm. I wasn't watching. So I don't know. No I don't think he. The other one's coming, carport. Yeah. The other one's carport. They're using their time. They're just rotating. They're, they're, their time. they're like, oh, There's yeah, actually, you, you can go the other way. Go kill that guy, and I'll come kill your guy, and that's what we're going to do. There's a gap onto objective here. If Marksman finds these stairs, get up. Get up. Get Ooh, on and then Varys will shoot him, shoot him in the side. Oh, okay. That's, that's oh, but that flash might have caught Varys. Not sure. Not sure on the angle. They are back in the center. There's the pick. Trade. Now Marksman needs to move. Knows he's last alive. Havoc. 
now knows he's alive. He just checked his tablet. He just checked his tablet. Doesn't yeah. care. Marksman's in a corner. He's got one of the spots we thought was a good last man defending spot, but he's looking out. All right, he's not looking at objective. Hmm. So, hmm. Mark is going in soon. Mark has gone in. That's sorted. He is checking his tablet. He's reading that code. He's the last man up. Oh, he's Perfect pulling a smoke. Position. Or flash. Flash on objective. Now he's looking for havoc. He's going down. Oh, he's going in. Oh, oh he's inside. He he's in cover. Cap. Cap. Tablet out. Can't have it. Havoc's not even trying. There like it that. is. Two points for Raptors. Well, he came on. He survived to the end, and he got a cap. I think he's done his job as an in-game leader right he there. Watched him run onto the objective. That's the problem with that far off. Didn't you even try to stop though. Getting he into that didn't building. even try. He just stood there. <clears throat> Raptors get two. Yep. And 4-1 to Raptors. One more point. Deals the deal. Just the defense of an objective which is probably more defensible, in my opinion. It's more out in the open. Um, you have to cross through some, some key zones to get to it when you're on, on attack. You have a couple of really good defensive spots, um, like back in this little corner here, and back behind this rock here. And you can cross cover each other pretty well. Um, interesting to see. Yeah, we'll see what Raptors do. They only need one more point to survive. We don't want to get capped on here. Even though they just die. Just don't want to get capped on. Who did get subbed out for Marky? Uh, Def? No, Ooh. FG. FG. Oh, FG. Interesting. I think it was, was, he was, was having some more... technical difficulties, so he ah, okay. failed. He kept falling off the buildings. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yes. Te technical Maybe. difficulties. Uh, yeah. Gravity. Yeah, that, <laughs> to be fair, if, if that is um, making you upset, it is better to move out than try and keep pushing on. This is very much a mental game. Nope. All right, let's... Yeah, he has it. He has Hello. It. All right, he's good. He's good. Good, good. Let's see if they catch him on the long cross here on camera one. one. Is this going to be a kill? Okay. Uh, which long cross? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was watching yep. it from the other end. It's yep. a shooting range, but Varric's actually going to get it. Def not seeing it. And Gladiator making the cross. Yeah, so can you not make that across without getting shot? Uh, I don't remember if you it or not. Gladiator goes down there's to Marksman. Looks like there is a clean run line all the way through the map there, so yeah. There is, but I don't know about timing. I think yeah, they, were, they were both waiting to get the kill there. Right pick also picking one up over at the uh, parking lot area. What's the spot between so, parking lot and the radio tower? What is that? Is that a street? Is that a... Uh, he called Let's come up with oh, the courtyard. Like a, a courtyard? Market? There's like a little um, yeah market market stall. Yeah, market sort of thing. Let's do market. Yeah. Market and market. We're gonna come up with these names and Baconos in the chat's gonna be like, no, what are you doing? He apparently he has them. So uh, Bacon, if you've got those, put them in the onward Discord or the IVRL Discord or somewhere so that someone can see them, and then we can just tell you how wrong you are and make up our own. Obviously, the red red light district. Absolutely, every map needs a red light district. We have two brothels on downfall now, finally. Yeah, I don't know how you guys so, added a second brothel, but it has now made its way to our call outs. Mazzino. Yeah. It's it because of Deflate. He, he couldn't tell the difference between two, so we just said, right, Deflate needs two brothels. And so uh, we have two brothels. Just bought up some property and uh, kicked out the previous owners. Marksman is once and, again uh, trapped in the center. The, is the madam's house, the building mm, between the two. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's also West Bungalow, but it's the Madam's house. Let's get shot in the back from Rypik, and then it gets confirmed by Def. Marksman's this still is... running around in the There's center. Four Raptors. This is game match point here for Masu, and he is... 
get perfect call out for some terrible call outs. Right picks now looking for him. They know exactly where he is. Looks like back to Andros is going to start a team. They're EU though. That's fine. Give me your good, good. Good. We need more EU teams. Would be great to have you. Masu, you got a long road ahead of you, bro. Three minutes, twenty seconds. Gonna make a rotation around, back through spawn. But Let's Def is holding that. Bit... Long... No, he's gonna die. Def is holding the long angle. He hasn't given it up. Just sitting in the nice. I like oh, it. Oh, but he misses it. But now you they know him. where he is. You see him though. Now Masu's gonna repeat it. Oh, did he <gasps> see him make that rotation back? He looked away. That could be critical. That they, could be critical. If they all think he went the other way, that's a great play there. Let's see whether Raptors, with Marksman on the field, whether they stay more compressed and just lock it down or whether they do what they've been doing previously and try and overpush. Masu. Mm. Masu. Oh, he's got he's got the he's got the ammo. He's got the drum mag. He's got the drum mag, but he also team. has the two hundred three normal. And he was also looks for me. It looks like he's got a drum mag and a normal mag, both put in at the same time. <laughs> he absolutely does. Uh, extra ammo. Extra ammo. He was right back to where he started. Right pick. Can you see through that? Almost. Not quite. He'll see him late. He's gonna see him. Oh, right, right pick oh, makes the oh, rotation. Goodness. And right pick with another double digi. More claps. Just making it to 10 and taking the final point for the Raptors and the series. Overall score 10 to 4 Raptors. Raptors being the prior reigning champions. And I think that's it from the casting desk in Barbados. Uh, sunny, sunny Barbados. It's actually not sunny because it's nighttime here. But sunny, sunny New Zealand. It is sunny in New Zealand. Yes, and it, it is, is sunny right now. Uh, so uh, what do you think that the map number two, definitely a little more um, less stressful, I want to say, like it, uh, felt a little it more. Feel like... it was, there was stress. At, there were a couple of stressful points. It, it was frustrating when they kept pushing that last player, when they kept pushing barracks. But overall, um, a bit more locked down. Uh, maybe because they didn't feel it, because they didn't know the map as well, they didn't feel as confident pushing out. Um, uh, yeah, but overall, the map itself, I think, has got some good potential. Maybe some early lines, which might need some adjustment. Personal preference thing. Um, as as we talked about, before, I think before we before uh, whilst we're on an intermission, this map maybe just. If it was slightly bigger, would be per personally. I like bigger maps. Um, yeah, I think it needs what sand had done to it, where it was it was sand and then it just kind of expanded slightly. Uh, or or Arctic like a, was it Arctic that had that, or was it, it had the base and then they expanded it because it's a it's a good layout, it's a good map, and then mm. it just needs a little bit more variety on the outside, like just some, some approaches. Really quick, early peaks and lines, yep. which then could get a little bit. Uh, allow more rota a bit more rotation, which you know, I like a bit, of, a bit of rotation is quite nice. Uh, but you do also need to be able to have those defensive lines and have those those set up positions so that you don't feel like you're having to run around the whole time on defense. I mean, we had a 28 second round on dry run last night, so. Oh wow, yeah. Was it, what object actually? Was it the? I'm trying to think. Was it the compound objective? It was. Was the compound objective? Yeah. There's an early line on the compound objective. Did they and did they go in the market? They and went shoot from the stairs no, of the market. There was across? no early picks. Uh, they just ran straight for it. They ran into the uh, radio tower, and I ran up onto the roof over by the northern objective. Solemn called them, and then everyone just shot them. And ah, I mean, it was cool. like the kill feed was a massacre. It was instant. Um, so. <laughs> I, I, it just positioning makes a huge difference. There are good angles. There, there are good approaches. I definitely think this map, uh, 
the more the, or the less people you have up still the more difficult it becomes it it hmm. definitely is a two person or more coordination style uh, approach to an objective versus a single man trying to thread the needle uh unless you have an accurate kill count and you know that it's a one-on-one -on -one, because there's just so many places to, to watch to defend against and yeah i i don't i don't really see a one v anything going well on this map well we almost saw a 1v we did but going well that, that was, was very also... much as we said it was 1v1 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 yeah um yeah that was also gravity <laughs> was it gravity that round gravity no, just got, no. he got revived and then he got shot in the head yes. by um barracks gravity a big factor in all of the matches today uh they definitely need to work on that people should be aware of gravity <laughs> This thing which is that exists it is a thing that exists i think this was the final match from tonight's cast i know that we had uh some mike juliet cast going earlier before this and i think they also were in this one casting as well yeah, they did a parallel cast that'll be really interesting to see uh what their take is I yeah i really want to see that um so and i we still have casting applications open if you are wanting to get into it definitely go into i don't remember where those are posted they're in announcements somewhere pinned um, but go fill yeah. out the casting application and then at me because I'm lazy and I forget to read them. But I will. Don't worry, we'll... I will prod. I prod trip every now and then to yes, he check does. the casting applications. And we will definitely we will definitely get some more people onboarded. We've been working throughout the week getting new people set up. And you've heard a couple of casts from Lambowski this week. He's definitely been working through some technical difficulties, but I think we've got him in a good spot and uh, really glad he's joined the team. We're gonna get James to start doing some main cast soon. Hopefully, we'll get him set up. And uh, yeah, just have to learn it. Learn how to press some buttons. Apparently, have to learn how to use a mouse. Apparently, you, you can't. You don't uh, know how to mouse. I know. Well, yeah. If you if you saw any of my co-casts uh, when the footage was available, um, <laughs> there would be some. There will be some sick people out there. Um, motion sick. I mean, it's like original VR roller coaster sim. Watching his cameras. <laughs> That's basically what it boils down to. But. Anyone that can work a camera, anyone that can talk, anyone that wants to do any part of the casting deck, we're definitely looking to expand our team and have more uh, options. We, you know, we, we've got people that only co-cast. We've got people that main cast. We've, we're potentially going to have people that just run cameras. We're working through all of these solutions um, and we're growing and we want to grow with you guys. So if you're part of the community, come help us help the community and join the team. Boom. And with that, I think we're done. We're going to roll this sick, sick Nintendo video, which at some point we will stop playing, but it's just so, so good. And I don't have a credit scene yet. So this is what we get. We will see you next time on the IVRL. Thanks, everybody.